With the return of veteran forward Zach Pichiro, the Cougars find themselves in a unique situation. The team now has four overage players on the roster, one more than allowed by the WHL. But those four 20-year-olds are all important players to the Cats' success. Joining Pichiro are Yari Erickson, Chance Braid, and Jared Rathjen. So some tough calls await the hockey ops staff of the Cougars. We talked to general manager Todd Harkins about how his team is going about dealing with the decision. It's a good problem to have, but a problem nonetheless. With the return of forward Zach Pichiro from the St. Louis Blues, the Cougars carry four 20-year-olds on the roster, one over the limit. According to the team, Pichiro will be playing this year in Prince George. There's no one player that we like more than others, but again, Zach coming back to us and talking to St. Louis Blues, he's pretty safe with us and uh, we're going to develop him and that's, that's our mandate from the St. Louis Blues organization. The future for the other three overagers is less clear. Yari Erickson is producing at a point-per-game pace. Chance Braid brings grit, leadership and important intangibles, while netminder Jared Rathjen is a steadying presence with playoff experience. All four of them are going to compete for three jobs and that's a great thing to have in our dressing room. And you know, they're 20-year-olds, they've been in this league for a long time, they're going to understand that and they do understand it. And they're going to eventually figure it out themselves and we're going to make a decision based on that. The Cats have less than two weeks to move one of the four, but the interest from the league has already been clear. I probably had about half the general managers in the, in the league already contact me about many, many of our 20-year-olds and what we're going to do with them. But again, it's, it's not something that I want to rush into. One could argue the Cougars are building for the future, but early season results would suggest they will contend for a playoff spot this year. Either way, this crop of 20-year-olds could be essential in building a culture. They're the voice of the coach, the coaching staff in that dress room. Even though they're 20-year-olds and they don't, they might have a letter and they might not have a letter. But again, when you're 20 years old and you've been in this league, some of them for, since they were 16 years of age, you know, they, they bring that uh, understanding of the, of the league and, and then competition, and especially as we start getting close to the playoffs. An added wrinkle to the situation is that both Erickson and Rathjen are local boys, playing Caribou Cougars hockey and ultimately identified by Northern Hockey fans. They're from here, they, they understand the, the hockey culture in the community, uh, they're, they're, they're a voice out in the community, and so that does come into play. The deadline sits at 12 days, so whether it's Pachiro, Braid, Erickson or Rathjen that's moved, the Cougars know they have a tough decision ahead. They're all great kids. I, I wish, you know, it, it's, it's a sad thing to be able to have to move somebody like this, but again, that's the league rules. Now we have to make a hockey decision, and again, uh, you know, it's going to be tough on, on all of us, uh, which, whichever way we go.